<laughs> Mom, do you mind just like pushing my head again, please? Huh? Pushing her head. I think it's it. I just feel more. Oh. My mum does it, it feels good. <laughs> yeah, I do it. When you do it, it's rubbish. It's rubbish, yeah. Rubbish. Anything I do is rubbish, seriously. <laughs> At least I know. I mean, I know my place, you know what I mean? I did my bit. It was quite fun, actually. My contribute to this whole situation. <laughs> and that's you done now. That's me done. Unfortunately, my mum didn't agree with my relationship with Sunny from the get-go. You know, she didn't force me to do anything I didn't want to do, but she just kind of had to say to me, I don't accept Sonny and I don't accept your relationship or your marriage. Oh, dear. There's a lady down the road, down there. She was screaming like Freddy Krueger turned up. Oh. A scary man. I hope she doesn't hear it. Oh, my God, where am I? Poor thing. My father died when I was 16, and obviously it was such a shock for me. You OK, Mum? Yeah, I'm OK. It's... It's you we're worried about. Exactly. I'm all right. My father was very much a guiding light, and there isn't a day that hasn't gone by in this pregnancy that I haven't thought of him and felt, to be honest, very gutted, is the only word, that he's not here. If my father was alive, he would have supported me, but my mum does not accept my marriage to Sonny. She had maybe a different idea of what she wanted me to do in my life. Fortunately, at the same time, Sonny's mum embraced me as her daughter. Have you got an inkling what this baby might be? Boy or girl, what do you think? I have no idea what no idea. it is. We're so excited. <sighs> my parents brought me up to be an independent woman and to be uh, happy with my decisions. So when I found out that I was going to be a mum, the first person I wanted to tell was my mum. But the last time we really had a full conversation was when I was 19. I'm now 32. When Shay's mum found out that Sunny liked Jay, she didn't want that because uh, Shay was more educated and Sunny was dyslexic and a bit older than Shay as well. So she wants Shay and Sunny to stop seeing each other. Do you want me to rub your back? Uh Deep breaths, try to take deep breaths. We tried to solve the problem, but Shay's mum said, Jay, if you leave today, then you don't come back. <sighs> she did try to talk to her mum, but her mum didn't want to know anything. She said, OK, I don't have a daughter. Where's mum? Mum's here. right here. Mum's right here. She's here. I know Shay was heartbroken, but she picked up her coat and she walked out with Sunny. Mom, just stay with me. I told her, Mom, if I take your daughter today, tomorrow, if she's not coming back to you, she will stay in my house. She's going from here, not like a daughter, no, but like a daughter. And we said, Jay, you're leaving everything because of my son. Don't worry. We will never leave you. We'll never leave your side. She did sacrifice a lot for Sunny, and she does miss her mom, but... We are always there to help them. Feels like the baby is coming down. Good, that's Good. what we want. Close to the exit. Happy days. <laughs> Should be a gift shop on the way out. <laughs> it's sad, but I think they made for each other.